Welcome to the Average Rook. We are still playing Quest for Glory 5 Dragon Fire. It is the right of destiny for us now. The items that we're going to need, if we were to look at the uh, the inventory, uh, maybe something that's a little bit more uh, silent. Okay, there we go. We are going to need Hippocrene water, this. We're going to need rope, which is this. We're going to need the balloon painting, this. We're going to need the brazier, this. We're going to need the sewn sheet, this. And the amphorae of goo. Where is that? I would, there it is. Uh, we're going to need the tinder box, which we arrived with. And we're going to need drachmas. At least one drachma, but more can't hurt. Uh, we're good for the equipment. So, let us begin this. Alright, go around Silmaria and speak to everyone, particularly Chakra and the uh, the famous adventurer. We're gonna cut over to uh, Chakra right now. Moments later. Wait, what the hell? Great Wizard Erasmus, who has been a friend of Silmaria for many years, is reported to have contracted a mysterious illness. He remains unconscious at his home in the clouds. Okay. Um, let's not go to Chakra just yet. Let's, um... Okay, we, uh... We've got something else that we need to do. I need to go over to the, uh, the spinning hat to see if I can activate it normally. Okay, nothing happens when I kick the portal, which means something must be wrong. So let us get out our, uh, trigger spell, put it over here, use it on the spinning hat. Alright, we need to head over to Erasmus's place and see what's going on. There's something wrong with Erasmus. He was staying up so late practicing the wizard world game, and now he won't wake up. Before he was wired, now he's unplugged. Hmm. Uh, ask uh, Fenris about all of this stuff. Hopefully we can get whatever has been affecting him. Well, affecting Erasmus, rather. He was just eating those chocolates you sent him. Then he zonked out. He's not even snoring. I've never seen him like this. Quiet! We didn't send any. You explained that you never gave Erasmus chocolate. But the chocolate box said that they were from you. We found them on the platform in Silmaria, and Erasmus assumed you'd left them for him. I know the box is around there somewhere. Here, you take it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Uh, say goodbye. I'm really worried. Grab it. I'm not sure what I would do without Erasmus. If you think of a way to help Erasmus, let me know, okay? Bye. Oh. All right. Grab the chocolate box and then immediately get over to the uh, to the apothecary. All right, hopefully we can hurry this up. Did you hear the latest news? The weird wizard has fallen asleep and can't be awakened. Something even stranger than usual is going on there. We fear the Archmage Erasmus has been drugged in some manner. Well, we may have the uh, the culprit to that. Get out your uh, your chocolate box. Put it on the trigger spell. You don't need that anymore. And then give it to Salim. Thanks. I bet this will really hit the spot for the late night munchies. You explain that you believe this chocolate is drugged. Oh, then I guess they give me the munchies instead of fixing them. <laughs> That's not so good. I'll have to check these things out. I'll let you know what I learn about them. And then we talk to Julinar about all this. The wizard Fenris assured us that his companion was not suffering from a magical spell, nor did I find signs of illness upon the Archmage. Thus, I believe that it must be some sort of drug of which we do not know. Well, it's at least not the uh, the poison that the assassin is carrying around. Say goodbye. I know that you grieve for your wizard friend. Here, take these magical flower seeds. They grow almost overnight and spread great beauty and fragrance. I hope that this will make your journey less sad. Yeah, Interesting. flowers soothe the soul. See ya. Okay, those are magic seeds. We want at least two pair. Um, we want at least two of them. I know Do that you grieve. Yeah. And then skip this. We should have two. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crash. We got two. Okay. Exit out. And then we are going to immediately talk to uh, Chakra, and hopefully the uh, the famous adventurer if we have enough time. The right of destiny will be difficult to accomplish only because Delos is far from here, across the most dangerous of waters. No boat will dare sail there unless it could sail through the sky. Yeah, we're gonna need something that flies. Even if you made the wings again, they could not get you to Delos. The wind is wrong for that. You will need to find a flying device that you can control. 
Hmm, maybe like a balloon? Okie dokie. Farewell, and I hope that your destiny is favorable. Okay, now, the time is a little sketchy. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the famous adventurous place before it becomes too late. Uh, it's getting a little sketch. Open it, open it, open it, open it. Okay, good. All right, let's talk to the famous adventurer about our uh, right. Ask about the right of destiny. Learning one's fate isn't much fun at times. Seems like you always see the bad parts of the future. Can be a little depressing. A Remember little bit. though, fortune tellers never say things straight. What they tell you may be right, but it's always subject to interpretation. Watch for all meanings of the words when you hear your destiny. We will definitely do so. That's a ways away from here. Be kind of tricky to get there, but it's worth it. The Sybil can be kind of cold at times. She hangs out in that old temple, what remains of it. Takes a little gold offering to bring her around. The Dryads, though, they're worth the whole trip themselves. The thought of that magical glade brings the chill of real beauty through my heart even now. Takes a real gift to get them going, though. Something to really sink their roots into and send the life sap soaring. If you haven't danced with the Dryads, boy, you've never danced at all. Yes, well, hopefully we have all of the right ingredients to uh, get them to dance. Okay, before we leave, there are some f a few books that we need to read here. I don't know which ones are which. Um, is it any of these? What about these? As you glance through the writings, you see instructions for building a balloon. The narrator intones, Having purchased a quantity of cloth, I had my housekeeper sew the material into the shape of a pomegranate. The writer further speaks, I managed to procure the sticky sap of a tree that had been burned for a long time. This made an excellent formula for windproofing the balloon material. Uh, the text goes on, I attached this balloon to a large basket by means of a rope. A metal brazier filled with coals provided the hot air to fill the balloon bag, causing the balloon to rise into the air. Near the end of the book you read, Unfortunately the nature of a balloon is to float wherever the wind will blow it. The next time I decide to travel in this manner, I will attach wings to the basket, and thus control my passage. The end. Alright, that's all we need to know for the balloon, uh, making. Now, the con considering the time, I don't necessarily feel the want to actually, uh, make the balloon now and head off to Delos. I might rather just wait until the, uh, the morning to do so. So let's head back to the, uh, the inn. Uh, let's just use the Mystic Magnets. Before we head to bed, we want to give one set of the magic seeds to Anagramma. What's this for? High protein snacks? You explained that these are magic seeds. You mean like... Grow to the clouds, steal from a giant Jack and the Beanstalk sort of seeds? Cool! I could really use these! Uh, you explained to Anne that the seeds only grow really fast. Well, so much for that get-rich-quick scheme. Still, it is a nice gift. Thanks! You're welcome. And now, um... Let's just, uh, sleep until the, uh, the morning, I guess. The next morning. Alright, it's now the morning of day 16. Let's quickly head out of here. Have our, uh, little breakfast, and then let's get about making that balloon. Talk about flower power. It's the man of the hour. You're a blossom buddy and my heroes. I'd love to plant my tulips on yours. Okay, so obviously the, uh, the magic seeds worked. Once we head out, we can just see what they look like. Wow, those are some beautiful flowers. Okay, now we'll head to Science Island. In Science Island, we have to somehow make our way to the second floor. I have no idea how we're supposed to be able to do that. It must be some sort of, like, platform. Oh, can we go on this? Uh, oh, it's powered like that. Okay. Now, um, Goat won't get out of our way, Please will he? Please do not touch the equipment. It is delicate and should not be touched by anyone other than a true scientist. But that's what we are. All right, screw you. All right, let's head out of here. Uh, exit. All right, so now we're on the uh, the second level. And there's a crane up there. I wanted to get to this uh, panel over here, assuming I can. All right, here we go. So we need to fiddle with this crane. On the crane, we need to set the rotation to, uh, uh, can it allow us? Aw, uh, do we have to do it manually? Okay. Set it to 55. Set the extension to 100. Oh, we could have just done that. 
Uh, set the position to closed. And then run. It'll hopefully grab the gondola that's down there. Excellent. And hopefully, we should be able to use this basket to make into our little balloon. Crane automatically places the winged gondola upon the platform. So now, once it's there, we use the, uh, need to get out our items. So the sewn sheet can be placed over there, the, uh, the brazier there, and the rope there. Let's see, oh, uh, and the goo. The goo can be placed here. So we now use the sewn sheet. And then the, uh, the rope. And then the goo. And then a brazier. That should be, oh yes, and the tinderbox, forgot about that. Uh, put that over here. And then use it on this. Excellent, that turns into a balloon. And now we fly away. Wow, I didn't think we'd make a balloon out of a gondola. Oh well. Uh, so it's gonna take us to the area map, and we immediately need to s go- We need to land the balloon somewhere. Can we land the balloon here? And then we need to immediately head back to Silmaria, and we need to tell Wolfie about it. Hey Wolfie, you'll never guess what! It is a good day, is it not? A fine day for flying, if one could fly. Oh, there is something we need to tell you about that. Uh, tell about the ride of destiny. Holy cow! I did not know that destiny was so hard to find. I always thought that the future comes to you, whether you look for it or not. Uh, can we... Oh, I have seen a man to fly once without wings or other magic. It is something that I painted in the picture to show that this was true, and that I did not make up such a thing. For some reason, people still did not believe what I saw. We need to tell him about the balloon. There was talk. I am getting... The notice board know. said that you... Good luck in Maybe if we, uh, talk to him now. Ask about... Compliment the in-painting? I am most happy that you are noticing my work. It is an artist's pleasure to hear about his art. This is not working the way I want it to. Maybe now? There we go. Tell about your balloon. You are building a machine that flies? This is very thrilling. I will be looking in the air to be seeing it. Thank you for letting me hear about this. My tail will not stop wagging for days. Okay, now we can cut back to the balloon. All right, so now we need to head to Delos via the balloon. If we open up our map, like so, you'll see that Delos is in the northwest of Marit. So we need to head in that direction. We can just use the arrow keys for this. Now that icon in the distance over there is the symbol we need to talk to, but we don't want to do that just yet. We want to land here, and then we uh, go here to the Dryad Grove. Now, while we are at the Dryad Grove, we need to get out our Hippocrene water. I think before I do anything else, I'm gonna save. Okay, so somehow we have to use it on the Dryads. Oh, this must be the Dryads. So use the Hippocrene water. Hopefully it doesn't use all of it. Because if it does, then I'm a little bit screwed. As you pour the water on the Dryad, she begins to move. Good. Okay. And then this one. I wonder if I missed one in the other direction. I'll have to see. Okay, it's not using it up, which is good. And then this one. By pouring the Hippocrene water to dry, it begins to sing. There should be one more, like this one. Now, is there more? Water of the Hippocrene awakens the Dryad. What about, uh, oh, is that one person there? Looks like it, yes. All right. Okay, maybe there's one on the other side. I think I missed one. Let's see. Moving over to the other side. Yeah, I thought so. And that's it. And then we get to watch them dance. All right. So, do we get to see them dance or what?
Is that it? Oh, oh. Oh. This is interesting. God, the soundtrack is just amazing. Well, thank you for that. Though we are wasting quite a bit of time, I kind of need to get this episode done. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. All right, thank you for that, sweet triads. Well, bye. Thank you for that kind performance. And now we need to quickly head over to the Sybil, which should be in this direction over here. And we need to do this quickly. So while we are at the Sybil, the, oh shoot. While we're at the, uh, let me just fix that. Okay, so while we are here, we need to go to a pool nearby and pick up a black lotus flower. Is it going to let me, where's it going? Oh, it goes around to do it, okay. Alright, you pick up this beautiful black lotus flower. Its odor entrances you with its honeyed sweetness. Purple nectar glistens, okay. Deadly as it is lovely. And then the next thing that we need to do is we need to see a pillar. There is an inscription carved into the stone of a strange monolith. You read the passage. Pean unto Hades, all waters that flow into the earth flow to Hades. Alas, all life soon flows there too. Where those waters flow, a gate will open. Alas, too soon it opens for you. It's important that you note this. When death is near, then pour the waters. Alas, they flow to Hades' shore. Where darkness awaits at the river's end. Alas, this lament shall open the door. Sing unto Hades this sad sorrow song. Alas, all life is quickly past. And the gates of Hades shall open before you. Alas, this shall shall be your last. And, um, that must be the, uh, all of the verses, hopefully. And then, the next thing that we need to do is we need to drop a drachma into the pool. And through this, we shall get our destiny. Welcome, Paladin. Honor bright and noble. Oh my. I am the Sybil who sees what is to come. Hear now the future that fate brings you. Your way is darkened with blood and death. The first death you soon face is death itself. Embrace it or not, death shall drag you to its depths. Go willingly, and you will gain. The next death you face is one whose fate crosses yours. That which he cannot own he would destroy. He will seek victory, even in his defeat. Hmm. Seven deaths, and the dragon grows restless in dreamless sleep. Four posts that pinned it to darkness have been broken in blood. Three more shall be shattered with death. The last death shall awaken the dragon fully. New awaken, the dragon is weak. Each feel of fear and pain feeds it. Fix first the pillar. Or it shall fly free. Death brought the dragon to life. Only death shall defeat it. 
One must give up life willingly before the dragon can die. Without sacrifice, the dragon is deathless. Your way is marked with death. Face it gladly, and your way is marked with glory. That is the fate that awaits you. Thank you for that reading. And with that reading done, we get proof of it. We pick up the proof. And the proof of destiny is ours. So, with all of that done, it's a bit too late to head back to Samaria right now. So let's just move to an area, move to ourselves, and then rest by casting Rip. You cast the Rest in Peace spell and enjoy eight hours of blissfully uninterrupted sleep. So now 4.32. So now we need to take our balloon and then head straight back to, uh, to Silmaria. It's best that you get into the balloon, because if you don't and decide to use the Mystic Magnets, you strand the balloon over there. Can we use the, uh, the food on ourselves? We can. Alright. Because if you use the Mystic Magnets, you strand the balloon there, you're unable to pick it up, and you'll be screwed for a later portion of the game. You don't want to do that. So let us take the balloon back over to Samaria. And then we need to immediately head over to the apothecary. Hey guys, you won't believe what happened to me. Julinar and I have dug up some more clues about that drug. It's about sleeping. Or maybe it's about not sleeping. Hmm. Can you tell me any more about this? Uh, talk to Salim about the drug. You know, that drug is really bad karma. It's like the people who ate it are sleeping, but not really asleep. I bet their dreams are no fun at all right now. So they aren't getting any rest, and their bodies just keep getting tireder and tireder. This is not good, man. Why is Chakra on the list? Chakra's really in bad shape from that drug. Ah, crap. He can't sleep and he can't wake up. I almost wish I could take him to the River Lethe so he could just get some decent sleep. Interesting. Okay. Give Salim the Black Lotus. Oh, Black Lotus. Pretty. I've always wanted to gather one of these magic flowers. I'll get right to work adding it to my poison cure pills. That's homeopathics for you. Okay, so he will upgrade the poison cure pills later on. And uh, we'll need to come back, and we'll need to purchase some of those upgraded poison cure pills. That will be important later. It seems that one gains no benefit from sleep while under the influence of that drug. Perhaps they could benefit from a still deeper sleep. It is said that the waters of the River Lethe have miraculous properties. I do not know for certain that even that would be enough, I fear. The River Lethe, you say. We will probably need to get that water to help the, uh, the ones affected by the sleepless drug. Okay, um, we didn't get any drachmas out of the, uh, the journey, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's see if there is anything else that we need to do. Eeny meeny. Okay. So let us save here, and as far as I know, with nothing better to do, we shall, um, with that save, I'm going to see if I can immediately, uh, go to sleep and then come back, get the poison cure pills, and then go to the Hall of Kings. I'll just cut back in a bit. The next morning. Okay, so it's now the new day. This is a test. Check this out! I took that black lotus you brought me and mixed just a little pinch into my poison cure pills. Now they're cosmically attuned to that poison and will homeopathically shut it down. I'll just swap these for any of the old poison cure pills you still have. You might want to get some more of the new ones, just in case. Interesting. Let's break out our, uh, poison cure pills. These new improved lotus blossom enhanced pills are designed to cure the strongest of po poisons. Let's, um, let's go over to Salim and purchase maybe two more. Uh, two. Six. Hey, thanks. And then I think we're good. We still got enough of the healing pills and the stamina pills. We should be good for now. So let's quickly cut over to the Hall of Kings. Okay, we are here. Give your proof of destiny to one of the guards. We will notify Logos that you have completed the rite of destiny. Thank you. So you see what happens. The web of the future is woven. And few dare to face what the fates have sown. One man has looked upon his future. The Prince of Shapir knows now what lies before him, for better or for worse. Yeah, for better or Thus worse. ends the right of destiny. Excellent. So that is one on our belt. And then next, 
You were dismissed. You then returned to the Hall of Kings. What happens next? I have said before that a ruler must be willing to face death for his kingdom. A king must be willing to go through hell if that is what it takes to make certain Silmaria is safe. You too must enter the depths of death. You must open the gates of the underworld. You must face the fearsome guardian of the dark reaches, Cerberus. You must journey downward to the very center of the abyss. Interesting. Enter the realm of Hades. Find the river Styx, with which even gods swear oaths of binding. Return from this infernal land with the water of the Styx to swear your honor and valor. Hmm. This is the right of courage. Okay, we've got our new right on hand. You were escorted by the guards through the corridors of the Hall of Kings and eventually led out of the gate. We now have a new right on our hands, so we'll probably save it here. We have completed the right of destiny, and now we are on to the right of courage. In the next episode, we're going to be doing some well-needed prep before we do the right of courage so that we can make our way to the hidden world of Hades. So, thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there. Like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Check the corresponding playlist, assuming something turns up or one of the recommended that pops up below it. I'm the Average Rook, and I shall see you soon, for there is more average content coming your way!